I originally had this entire part, this commentary filmed, and then upon editing, I realized it wasn't gonna work. Uh, you see that really cool Nike slash Jordan anorak <laughs> cement elephant print jacket that I was wearing, uh, partly in the thumbnail, yeah. It caused a lot of problems in terms of this mic, in terms of the audio, and that would have been unbearable for you guys. So you know what, let's just go ahead and cut to what I actually received in the mail. It is a grill, it is from eBay, and no less, I'm still very excited, but not about the whole uh, redoing this part. It's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, AKA I am just in one chain, but yes, two <laughs> swoosh crew, what is going on? Thank you guys again so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully far better, smoother audio clearance for you to view this video on a Sunday. Again, thank you for tuning in to this. It is a pickup video. And if you follow me, you guys already know, I own only, uh, well, two threes. So I own one very, very, you know, special three, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. But if you know what was on my radar, it was the Air Jordan 3 White Cement. Now, I originally planned to get this for my birthday back in uh, last November when I turned 30 and that didn't actually happen, okay? I was originally going to buy a brand new pair and we know what those prices look like, okay? I just, I'm just not prepared, don't want to drop that much in a shoe right now. There's always so many other things I can do with that, okay? Opportunity costs. But it's always been on my radar it's been on my list and it was one of those shoes where if I found it for the right price, the right condition, I would go ahead and do my best to pull the trigger to make it happen regardless of anything. Now, we know that I have a goal of only 12 sneakers to buy for the entire year of 2020. How this is going to factor into that, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll let you guys weigh in on that. Do I count this pickup as a bonus because it was going to be my birthday sneaker so it can kind of just count as me getting nothing for my birthday this year and this being it already in February? February, my birthday's not until November, <laughs> or do I count this as a possible wildcard pickup because I wanted to have two of those, but it's not a non-retro, it's a retro, it's very much so a retro. Actually, it's one of the most iconic retros. So let's just go ahead and talk about that iconic retro, okay? It does come in the box that it released with. Now the box is far more beat up than the actual shoe itself. I think that says a lot. And you guys got to see me go ahead and open it, but yes, you can take a look in the box. So I was able to acquire the Air Jordan 3 Retro White Cement. I do wear a six and a half when it comes to Retro 3 and it is in some of, it's, it's in, I couldn't ask for better condition. Let me just put it that way. Guys, take a look on the bottom sole here. Like, like nowhere, almost, almost nowhere. I can't get over that. We know that just to break down. So this is the 2011 Air Jordan 3 white cement release in grade school, six and a half. Now what's so, we, we know there's no Nike Air on the back. There's just a Jumpman and the Air on the back. I'm not one of those uh, Nike Air snobs where I won't wear a retro if it doesn't that have Nike Air on the back. That's not me. The Black Cement 3 that I have, yes, it does have Nike Air on the back. That's how it released in 2018. And with this one, it has just the Jumpman and Air. Makes no never mind to me. I'm not going to not wear this shoe, not cherish this shoe. It's a very coveted shoe now in my collection and I'm happy to have it. So we know why this shoe is so special. Okay, for one, the Air Jordan 3 is the reason that Jordan made the decision to stick with Nike branding in itself. So bless you, Tinker Hatfield. We are thankful for everything that you provided for us in that, uh, that very critical decision for Jordan because I think it did shape the entire face of 
of the sneaker game as we know it today. And sneakers in terms of retros, like sneakers are bigger than just retros. I know you don't want to hear that, but they are. But I think that had a very monumental pivot in everything that goes on that we hold special in terms of Jordan. So we know that it was the very first retro to ever feature visible, a visible air bubble. Um, before we just had to trust Tinker and Nike that there was air somewhere <laughs> in here, but we were actually visibly able to uh, to see it right there. Now the elephant print has become one of the most well-known aspects of Jordan Brand, and I'm happy about that. Also, that was kind of the issue of the audio with this jacket. I have a jacket, okay, that uh, it actually has the elephant print pattern all throughout. It's called a Jumpman Anorak jacket. Now, I found mine on eBay. I think you can possibly find them online, Foot Locker or Champs, or just check eBay too. Um, it comes in black, and then I have the white one in a medium. So we know the elephant print, so it is here on the toe, and then also along the medial and lateral side as we move back towards the heel. We know that it has as the like more of a lower profile or mid profile I definitely think when it comes to the threes the inside now I'm never a fan of white being the interior lining just because it gets so dirty but this one is not right like once again person took great care of it this one is not we know that the tongue liner is red there and then on the inside it does have those production dates just in case anybody is curious dating back to 2010 because that's when you know the actual shoe was put into production to release in 2011 has the traditional straps on the inside to hold your foot down with the tongue and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the other shoe here now when it comes to the three where does it rank um, it's not my most worn owned or iconic I still think the one is that for me uh, when it comes to comfort though the three is right behind it so if you want me to wear a retro all day I'll pick a Jordan one and then I'll pick a Jordan three and I'm not sure where the rest would fall maybe like a 12 because that's really comfortable to me too but I'm a big fan of the three now when it comes to finding shoes that are used uh you're always playing the game there because you want a really great condition you also want a really great value for the shoe and when you're grade school that's hard to do because a lot of times it means a kid could have had your shoe and they tend to beat shoes up not this one so i'm really grateful for that um oh, just i'm happy to have acquired this so badly so i didn't originally plan on it how did it occur well i told you guys like don't be afraid to just browse around and shop like people tend to do their browsing in actual stores and that's cool i I'll tend to do mine on ebay as you guys know and i've explained that before all of life kind of comes from ebay for me outside of like groceries and things like that but a lot of it does come uh from ebay for me now, styling this, um, I took a, huh, uh, it's definitely, it's just, it's a casual approach. It's just my style, okay? So we know that I have that Nike 6.0 tan jacket. I decided to uh, uh, style with this because I like the contrast with that and a predominantly white sneaker, but with the hints of red, I did go with the red Air Jordan by Nike shirt. You guys can find those in Foot Locker or in Kids Foot Locker and then just some basic denim and a Jordan hat and very much the same with the leather look now. The leather jacket doesn't get worn enough but I think it does go well with this three here because we do have that black that is right on the heel so I like that pair together I decided to bust out the gray yes it's an identical t-shirt but it's just the gray one that I picked up during employee appreciation I believe last December yeah last December that I showed you guys here on a video finally uh, another Jordan hat right but just some two basic outfits that I would pair with the threes now do I plan to finally wear Wear these threes a lot I do I just I gotta get out of my head okay but I do plan to wear these a lot so you guys can comment below and let me know what do you think about this pickup I am still so very excited I'm not happy that I had to edit this again but I'm still so very excited about this shoe here to have it in my collection it was uh, you know you have those few shoes that you really no matter what you want to go after and you're very happy to have doesn't matter what else is on the agenda this is it for me okay it was definitely definitely a grail that I wanted to have I'm still in search of well not in search of I'm not searching right now I know what the cost is probably going to be for a 2016 bread one and we're just going to play the waiting game until I feel like 
buying that, okay? Heading into March, you know, before we end out February, we do have the Pine Green One to get now. If you follow me on IG at talks.with.tj, you guys have seen what it looks like in hand, and I'm a big fan. I know some are not when it comes to different aspects of the style that Jordan Brand changed, and we can talk about that a little bit later, but right now, it's just about this pick up here, so you guys have gotten a chance to see that. You will also see uh, an on foot as well of uh, what this shoe looks like. So I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Make sure you comment below again what you thought about this pick up here. Um, if you're curious about the deal, uh, I was actually able to acquire this for $80. So bless up for having smaller feet and for this being in great condition. Uh, a grail added to my collection. No, uh, no surprise, it came from eBay. And please stay tuned. I will have a video Monday, Tuesday, gonna work on Wednesdays for you. And as always guys, act your age, not your shoe size. Have an amazing, amazing end of your weekend. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.